Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know, now you know. And we got some fun little errands to go on today. We are up in Adam, which is not early for some people, but for some reason it felt so early this morning. We left the house at like 9.40, but oh, he woke me up and I couldn't. I just couldn't. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so tired in the morning when it's not even that early. But like, when do I grow out of wanting to sleep in? Does that ever happen? I feel like when you get older, like you just start waking up earlier and that has just not happened for me yet. So maybe we should start. But anyway, we got three special errands on the list today. First, we need to go to Dick's because he went yesterday to get me some on clouds and I'm like nine times out of 10 a size six and we were debating it so much, but I wasn't there in person to try them on. So we went with a size six and then I tried them on at home and I was like, I feel like a six and a half would just fit better. So we're gonna exchange those and then we're gonna head to the mall because do you have a reason? You just kind of want to fall clothes shop? I need a pair of brown pants and okay. brown jeans. I don't really have like a nice brown colored pant. Um, and I don't know. To kill time? If I kind of come across anything else. Yeah, I dropped my car off at the car wash this morning, so, so we I'll be able to pick it up for at least like two hours. And if we only go to Dick's and Target, we will yeah. be done faster than that, so. And then we're going to Target, because if you guys saw my dilemma on my Instagram story, which I've never had so many people reply to a story, <laughs> like instantly my DMs were flooded. Um, I asked if it was worth it to switch to some sort of like espresso machine at home because the Keurig has just not been hitting. Coffee at home has been not it, not at, all. it at, at all. And I think it's because it's extra not it because all the fall drinks are out everywhere and they're so good. And then I have my like Keurig watered down hazelnut creamer coffee and it is terrible. <laughs> So I've been debating it forever and I feel like I've said at least 10 times in vlogs before like, oh, I can't wait till we have a house. I'm gonna have like a coffee bar set up. Like I'm gonna make it so nice, but like I'm gonna wait for the house. I've said this for like three years now. So someone like changed my life in a DM because I was talking about redoing our bedroom and I was like, I've been putting it off forever, but like I might as well do it now because I'm gonna bring all the stuff to the house. So it's okay to redo it. And someone was like, it's actually really smart to do little things now because when we get a house, we're one, gonna be flooded with projects and two, gonna be shelling out so much money at one time that these little things are not something that we're gonna be wanting to do. And I was like, that makes so much sense. Got them. Six and a half is just way better. This is honestly really tight on them. Sure. But it's a little bit, like, I just have more room in general. For being a gym shoe, I definitely want it to be comfortable. So, going with those. So, funny story. We were actually at the mall last night. Um, we went out to go out to dinner. We are like, well, let's just go early. Let's kill some time. Let's go walk around the mall. Like, I feel like we haven't been in a while. And we're there. And all of a sudden, we're like, dang, like, Sunday night is the night to come. No one's here. They were closed. We they were walk closing, into yeah. one store. We walk into Zara, I don't even know what time we got there, like maybe 6.50 something. And I had that thought in the car too, but I was like, there's no way they're closing earlier than eight. Like, there's no way. Right, even if it is a Sunday. Right, like even eight's early. Mm. Walked in one store, walked right back out basically, and had to leave the mall. So luckily that wasn't our main plan of last night, so we just went to dinner early, but we didn't get to go to like any of the stores we actually wanted to, so. Hence why we're going back now. And also it works out because we have time to kill anyway, so. Well, that was a success. They had the exact pants he wanted. You said one left in your size. They were made for you. Um, really got a drink for the road. We were gonna wait till Target to get a Starbucks because that's just like right oh, of passage. Do. Yeah, how do you shop at Starbucks without one? But How do you shop at Target without Starbucks? Oh my god, why do Starbucks? I keep saying You've that? You've done that like four times I now. keep saying that. Um, yeah, but we're gonna go to lunch right after Target, so. Got one early for the road. I can finally drink out of a straw again. We are, what is today? Monday, so that was uh -uh. like 10 days post wisdom teeth, 10, 11 days post wisdom teeth, and I feel like I'm basically fully healed. I have like half a stitch, not even. I have like a knot of a stitch left in one side, but other than that, I can eat everything, I can drink everything, and it feels good. So now let's go to Target to finally get 
an espresso. Right, so we don't have to keep buying Starbucks. <laughs> Literally, yes. Honestly, yes. This is going to be my last Starbucks purchase. Until you're At on least the road again. this week. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> At least this week. Of course, the lady that I said is going to be you, like when you're older and stuff, is right behind us in a really nice Range Rover. Exactly. It's going to be me. She was pushing her cute little baby in a stroller. Yay. Okay. On the target list for today. Obviously, the Nespresso. We need the machine. We also need everything for a good tasting coffee. So, we need the Nespresso pods which I would assume they sell here. Honestly, I didn't look that one up. Um, the like syrups, caramel drizzle. I wanted to get like a milk here, but since we're not going straight home, I'm not gonna do that yet. And then also just, I wanna look through the kitchen stuff since we're redoing the kitchen, see whatever else they have here or anything for like a coffee bar setup that we can get from here. But those are the main things. I know for sure they have the Nespresso I want in stock. So did look that one up. Didn't look anything else up. Okay, for sure one of those. Caramel drizzle? Yeah. What of these do we want though? Pumpkin spice for this like time this of is, year? I feel like this is the brand though. Yeah, it is. I, I know, brand. this one isn't, but they don't have that in pumpkin. Oh, yes. Is that going I mean, fun? vanilla? Or do we want Salty like. caramel? Just get a bunch of options. So it's like we just want to like pick French vanilla. Salted caramel. They have sugar free caramel. They don't have normal. What do you mean? Salty like this. Caramel. I know. And then this one's sugar free. Yeah. I got really cute glasses to put these in. Oh, excuse me, sir. Could you be a little quieter? Um, <laughs> so we don't need to get the ones with the pumps. These will be perfect because I got, you'll see, yeah, something well, to put it in. This is literally what we're going to buy, right? So yes. So we can get these? Oh, well, yes. We do need, yes. We so need on, the so, pods. Oh, and the thing is right here. It's two hundred dollars. So. Shouldn't be. Okay. Look at that one's eleven forty nine. Perfect. Finally made it home. Justin's car ended up taking forever, so he just had to go get it and go right to work. So that means everything today is gonna be a solo project, which is fine. I can handle it. I wanted his help mainly with just like cleaning everything out of the kitchen because, as you can see behind me, I got a lot from Amazon. I can't wait to show you everything I ordered. It is so like 25 year old of me and I love it. But anyway, let's go through. So everything we ended up getting from Target, these Starbucks blonde rose Nespresso pods, except the lady at the counter was like, mm, these are kind of weak for me, but it's fine, you do you. <laughs> she was the sweetest. Honestly, we had the best customer service today, everywhere we went. I don't know what it is. Normally Miami sucks. And we were like miserable going to run errands, but something about today, and we kept saying that. We we're like, it feels so good to just be up and out right now. And I feel like normally it's busy and it wasn't busy and everyone was really nice today. So anyway, um, the Nespresso came with like normal Nespresso ones and I'm sure we'll probably order more of those too. But, and then they didn't have the normal caramel like you guys saw. So we got salted caramel, vanilla, and then I couldn't not get a pumpkin spice. Although I wish I would've got, I mean, listen, I'm not gonna knock the Target brand because I've literally never tried it. So it's fine. Got a pumpkin spice one, and then we also got caramel drizzle. I'm a little bit confused because I feel like it normally has a better top than this, but whatever, that'll be fine. Where do I start? I feel like we just need to unbox everything. I wanna make like an ASMR unboxing TikTok because there's some really good Amazon kitchen and like home finds in here. So we're gonna try to set that up, unbox everything, except that may not work because this one is going crazy right now with energy. Hi. and the aftermath of everything. But look at how good it all looks, except I just realized that I accidentally forgot to order cups. I literally picked them out on Amazon. I don't know how they didn't end up in my cart and in this big order, but just order those. So those will be here tomorrow, but everything else is here and everything else looks so good. So here's a little haul of everything I got. I'm gonna have it all linked on my storefront down below. I'll honestly just make like a new um, like folder or whatever called probably just like kitchen items, but they look so good. Okay, here we go. Here's everything I got. Starting with this little circle ice maker. If I'm going all out on a coffee bar, I want cute ice cubes. So we need to fill these up so that way they'll be ready for my coffee tomorrow morning. And then I got these that like, I feel like literally everyone has, but I probably won't even use the lids to be honest. I just wanted the glass cup with 
like the glass straws for iced coffee. Very excited for those. Then I got this utensil set with everything, like even more utensils than I have right now, which honestly are going to come in so handy. And it came with its own little holder, so I'll probably just honestly leave it in there. These are the little things I got for like the coffee syrups, and then it came with these pre-made labels of basically like every coffee flavor you would need. So we have like the vanilla, there's a pumpkin one in here. Yeah, pumpkin spice. So I don't know, cause we got three. Although I doubt they have, like what are the odds that they have salted caramel? Oh, they actually do. I don't know what of the two I'll put in here, but I'll just order another one. We'll see. I am very stressed about putting those labels on straight though, so we definitely need to take our time there. But we got a whole new set of plastic dining wear. Just personally, we don't even have a dining room yet. Like apartment living, we eat on the couch every day and I love it that way. So I hate when I have to use glass plates and bowls currently in this moment. So I got a whole set of this beige color of plastic, but like really good quality and dishwasher safe, microwave safe, all of that. So a whole new dish set so we can get rid of the blue ones. I got a frother that matched the new aesthetic. These two little containers, I think this one is gonna probably hold the coffee pods. And then this one, I, I needed something to hold the straws. I might keep this one holding the straws. We'll see what it looks like all together. Oh my God, wait, I didn't even put an item up here. I need to go find it. Um, these came with all the utensils. I have a funnel for putting the syrups into there. Also got, finally, my Pinterest mom dreams. So this is a spice rack organizer. So you can like fit it to however big your cabinet is. And I finally got the all matching spice jars. So this is a project for today. We're gonna fill everything up, put the labels on, organize them so they're all matching. Oh my God, I'm going to love this. I've wanted to do this so long and I always said when I have a house, I'll do it, but why wait? We're just gonna do it tonight. And then, oh, there it is, it was hiding. So this is what is currently going to be my coffee bar in the meantime, at least in this apartment. So I plan on putting like all the stuff. We're gonna have to make it cute, but filling this up, although now that I'm looking at it, it's definitely gonna be a tight squeeze, but we're gonna make it work. Not too much has to go on here. I don't think the straws will be able to fit in that then, but we're gonna put together a whole coffee bar and I am so excited. It also came with this little decor thing. I doubt I'll have room to put that on here, but we'll see if this can go somewhere. But that is an overview of my Amazon haul. Okay, next up on the list, we gotta do something with this mess because I will not be able to do or enjoy anything else. Well, all of this is sitting here. So I'm gonna probably put Vanderpump Rules up on the TV, break down all the boxes, and then we'll actually get to the fun stuff. I think we'll probably start with, oh, I guess we have to start with setting up the Nespresso, right? Cause like that's gonna have to go first. Look at how beautiful she is. So sleek. I'm so glad they had the white and I'm so glad we're switching up to this aesthetic. I just think it looks so much cleaner, so much more mature. Although my toaster and my air fryer are still currently blue. We'll work on that on a later date. Honestly, that's like muted enough where I think it's cute. Air fryer is a little too bright, but we'll get to that eventually. She's beautiful. Um, I guess let's just out with the old, in with the new, shall we? I cannot wait. So this is like where the coffee bar setup's gonna go because honestly, we really don't use our fruit basket that much at all and it is massive. So we're gonna move that out and just the whole like corner setup is gonna be for the coffee bar. And I am so excited. It is absolutely pouring outside. Wow. Okay, what do I need to do? Um, I need to do like a cleaning cycle honestly on this. So I think I might as well start with that and get that going. And then we'll start putting the coffee bar together. Yeah, I feel like that should come first. Blue Kitchen, you were fun while you lasted. It is time for you to pack it up. And Mature Neutral Kitchen, 
It is your time to shine. I just realized how much I have to do. It's 6.18. I don't think I'm going to cook dinner tonight. I think we're just going to order something. It might be a pizza night because I don't know if I can get all this done and go grocery shopping and cook dinner. But before setting up the coffee bar, I think I'm going to run a dishwasher cycle of all the new dishes. That way those can kind of like get cleaned while we're doing other things. And then hopefully by the time that's done, we can have everything cleared out of the cupboards ready to put those away. Okay, they don't all fit, which is unfortunate, but we'll just put these in the cabinet for now. I don't really know what half of these are anyway. I feel like I'll probably start out with the Starbucks ones. I'm also thinking to make everything tie in more, I might get one more of these for the utensils because you can just tell that what the utensils are in right now is just super like plasticky and cheap. And I feel like this might tie everything in more if I get another one of these for that. So we'll see later on. I might add that to my Amazon order since I already have to order more because I forgot things, but First thing for the coffee bar, done. Now what else actually needs done? Oh my God, I have to do the whole spice rack too. I forgot about that. There's no way I'm cooking dinner tonight. It's fine. Okay, we need to figure out what two syrups we want in the little dispensers. I'm thinking probably vanilla and salted caramel because I can put like the labels on those two because I feel like those two will stay pretty often. And then we'll just keep pumpkin spice like in the cupboard or something for now and just use it as we please. Also, I'm tired of sitting in silence, so I'm gonna put Vanderpump Rules on in the background. So if you hear background noise, it's that. I normally don't like to do that in videos, but because I've been filming so much, I've literally just been sitting in silence and it's kind of driving me insane. I think that's straight. I tried really hard. It looks so good. I'm obsessed. Oh my God. I'm entering my Pinterest mom era and I love it. Okay, time to do that round two. Oh my God, now I need to make sure these two are even with each other. Actually, no, that should be fine. I brought out a ruler and everything. So I feel like that shouldn't be as hard as I'm thinking. Syrup dispensers are done and they fit the aesthetic even themselves. I am so happy. Look at how cute this little corner looks. It'll look even cuter when the air fryer's white, but oh my God. Okay, there's way more room than I expected too. So I could definitely still get, I might get like a little fruit basket. There was one at Target today. It was almost this exact material. So I bet I could find one on Amazon as well. And just a little basket right here. So we do still have somewhere just in case we need it. But I am obsessed. Guys, I have a coffee corner. Finally, oh my God. Okay, I think it is finally time for the spice rack, right? That's like the only thing left I can do right now because I'm not gonna clean out all of those until that is the dishwasher's done and ready to go. So, I did in fact order, what did I order? A new one of these off Amazon. I did also order a uh, dish soap and hand soap dispenser to go here to match the aesthetic. I feel like there's one more thing. Maybe not. Oh, and then the cups, which will come tomorrow. So I guess we probably won't even finish this video today. I'll keep it going throughout the next couple of days until it's like fully done. But I am obsessed so far. I should have done this a long time ago. Anyway, this is what I also should have done a very long time ago. Let's make this look so much prettier than what it looks like right now. I'm gonna first go through, take all these down. And there's probably some back here that are honestly probably already expired. So I'm just gonna like clear all of those out right now. So that way I'm not putting an expired seasoning in to the new jars. Okay, I guess this actually won't take that long because this is all we have left. We need to restock a lot of them. Where, I mean like these are all of our main ones, but like, I feel like we need more, but it's okay. We'll start with this, which I really didn't need an organizer for because it'll fit. Well, actually, it'll just look extra organized. It'll be fine. Okay, I got them all done. Finally, that actually didn't end up taking too long. Now it is time to figure out what order we want. Like, I want the ones that I use the most, obviously, in the front, so I just don't have to reach for them too often. And then the blank ones I'm gonna put in the back. And then we will put them on the little organizer. Although I might move this up so that way the blank ones can go like actually all the way back there so you don't even see them. Are you ready? Uh, 
honestly, something so little but makes me so happy and I've been wanting to do that forever. So very happy with that. Now the dishwasher is finally done. So I'm gonna unload this. We will clear out and say goodbye to all of our blue in here. We'll keep the gray in there for now. I'll probably end up getting rid of those. Maybe just like in the move, we'll get rid of them, but they're at least better than the blue. So plates are all in. We'll have to do the same with cups tomorrow, but they're not here yet because I forgot to order it. So I think we are finally done. Justin's on his way home with the pizza now. So it's honestly like perfect timing. Then we just get to chill tomorrow, but I cannot wait to have my first cup of coffee in the morning. So honestly, I'll just see you then. Good morning. It is officially time to make the first coffee. We just got our milks because I forgot we didn't have those. So I had to wait until we got those to actually make it. But we got oat milk to actually make the coffee and then 2% to make cold foam because I was told very specifically, well, I wasn't told. I did a lot of research last night and it said that 2% is what Starbucks uses and it's like the best for cold foam. So let's check on our ice first, actually. No. What the heck? I mean, some of them, why are they so watery? It's in four hours, they were in overnight. Okay, never mind. the ice is not frozen, so we're not gonna have cute ice cubes today, and that is a-okay. So, I think I'm gonna make a salted caramel latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam, which is pretty close to my actual Starbucks order. Probably enough. Line the cup. Caramel syrup goes down first, then the espresso, then the milk, then the ice, then the cold foam. That's how we're gonna do it. Cold foam recipe, according to TikTok. Two tablespoons of the milk, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of vanilla syrup. She looks pretty. She oh, looks a little too strong for me, I feel like, but exactly I also why. don't normally get oat milk, so that could also be why. Mm. That's good. Okay, <laughs> first taste test. Let me guess it. No, it is good. I think it's the oat milk that tastes different. I'm just not used to it. But... Way better than our old at home coffee. Yeah? Success! We're gonna perfect it more. So, yeah. like, yeah. we'll figure it out as we go. But I'm gonna go clean this up, try to make more ice cubes, I guess, not touch them for another day or so. And then the cups get delivered today, everything else gets delivered tomorrow which is unfortunate. I'm also ordering new dog bowls because his are blue and that'll help phase out the blue as well. This is still killing me, the fact that the air fryer is blue, but we'll get to that at a later date. Good news, everyone, we got cups. I believe these are the same brand as the plates and everything, so it should be the same color, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can get away with it for sure. So I've gotten two orders. This came in a pack of six. I feel like we, that should be enough, right? Yeah, we have three blue cups only. <laughs> You're right. They're a little smaller than I want. They kind of smell weird, so they're definitely going straight into the dishwasher. <laughs> I wanted the bigger ones, but then we discovered, because I measured, that these should fit everything we need, so it should be fine. So, cups, so cute, match everything. Gonna throw these in the dishwasher. I wish everything else came today, but we gotta wait one more day. So, you know what? Maybe we'll make another coffee together tomorrow morning. And then we'll get the last order and then we'll wrap this up. Although, I need to order a new dog dish. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. It is the next day. My final Amazon packages are finally here so we can finish up. Well, finish up for now, at least, the kitchen. And I decided that I'm gonna perfect my coffee recipe over the next few days. And then I'll vlog again to give you my final. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be like constantly changing, but 
my current like perfected coffee recipe. Okay, first up, we got new bottles for hand soap and dish soap to match the new aesthetic. So there's two and they look the exact same, but they come with little labels so they can be labeled. So that way you don't accidentally use one when you're supposed to use the other. Package number two should be the same container I got for the little coffee corner, but this will be for the utensils because I just don't like the one it came with. Let's see, size-wise. Oh, I feel like this will be a really good size, actually. I feel like that's perfect. And then that way it matches the coffee corner exactly. So it just ties everything in because I just don't like the one that it came with. It just looks super cheap. So I got the, this is the biggest size of this one. Like I said, everything's going to be linked down below. So if you're interested, I want to say this is like the 80 ounce. And then my other two, I have like the small 20 ounce. And then the middle one is 40 ounce, I believe. And then this is the big boy. But I honestly think this will go perfect. We'll put all the utensils in there in a minute. I'm so over breaking down boxes. I've nonstop just been breaking down boxes these last few days. What is this? Oh, the new dog dish. Wait, I'm really excited for this, honestly. I'm so glad I thought of that last minute because that is bright blue. And it is time for an upgrade. Cloud, are you excited, buddy? So cute it'll work I feel like it's perfect honestly um let's put it all together now put it where it needs to go and it is out with the old and in with the new that is so really <laughs> that is so sleek looking yes I'm gonna put your food in there in a second it's so just like minimal I love it what do you think buddy you like it is it cloud approved you think you can eat and drink out of that you know there was bound to be a hiccup somewhere in here the dish soap beautiful the hand soap the sticker did not of course it's like not going to show there's bubbles here it creased here i tried to pull it off and now this is all like oh it's irking me so bad and of course they only put one like sticker of each i mean at least one of them is labeled but like i wanted them to match but I cannot keep this out like that. I cannot stand to look at that. That will drive me insane. So we'll just turn it towards the back and just at least you won't accidentally use the dish soap as hand soap, but like even if you did, it's fine. They're kind of interchangeable to be honest, but you win some, you lose some. Why is it a kind of a fail? It's not a fail. I like it, it just, is very obviously like a different color between the utensils and that but like not the biggest deal because it'll tie in like that and that so it's fine we're obviously going to leave it i don't know why i thought it was going to match way better why do i feel like that color is slightly different it's fine it's way better than it was and i like that they kind of all tie into each other so i think we are done comment down below and either convince me that I don't need a new air fryer, or if your team new air fryer so it matches, convince me down below that I do need one. Um, I feel like I'm either like an all in or an all out kind of girl, so it's driving me nuts that they don't match, but I'm also a balling on a budget kind of girl, and I'm like, the air fryer works perfectly fine, we don't need a new one. So, I would love to know your take on it, but this was fun. I am an at home coffee girly now, although we need to work on it. I'm gonna figure it out. Mainly because I don't know, like, I know everything but the actual specific Nespresso pods I should use. So if you have a Nespresso, let me know down below what pods you like to get. Because I like the taste of the Starbucks one, but they don't, it's like definitely a single shot. So I don't know if they have other ones. I might actually go do research right now. See if they have like double shot ones. We also have $10 off an Nespresso order. Like when you get an Nespresso, you get that. So we're gonna figure it out. But don't worry, I'm going to take you guys through that journey throughout the vlog. So you'll stay up to date with everything. But I'm excited. I like it. We're growing up. We're growing up together. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big like, comment down below, subscribe to your post notifications on, all that. Again, everything from this, all my Amazon storefronts going to be linked down below if you want to get some, if you want to mature with me for those that went through the blue kitchen era. It's time to revamp it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.